The Nasdaq hitting record highs Friday, but it's small cap stocks that are outperforming. For a closer look at the markets, let's go out to Newport Beach, California, where we're joined by David Bonson, Chief Investment Officer of the Bonson Group. Welcome back, David. Now, before we get to small stocks, I want to talk about today's employment numbers. Um, the economy added two and a half million jobs. People are expecting a subtraction. The unemployment rate, instead of rising, dropped to 13.3 percent. So what are the implications for uh, economic growth? Well, I think that what it does is sort of give everyone a little pause as to the next round of economic data. Are we in for a slew of positive surprises? My own expectation is that there might be some disappointment still to come, but that the presumption now has to be, hey, have we been too far-sighted negative? Is there right tail risk instead of just left tail risk that we have to take into account? Today is one of the big, biggest examples of that that I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. We're seeing the, the small cap stocks rise roughly 5%. As for the S&P 500, it's close to its February peak, but the economy and earnings, uh, even the looks are nowhere near what uh, what they were back in February of this year. Uh, given that, are stocks overpriced at this point? Well, if stocks are overpriced, that would certainly not be the reason because markets are forward looking. And so they would have to be basing their view as to where we are going. There's no ambiguity around the fact that earnings right now are distressed as we're in the midst of this lockdown period and trying to come out of that. There's two factors that have changed since February. First is all the distress that came into markets that we're going to come out of. But second is trillions of dollars of liquidity that the Fed has provided that serves as a totally different backdrop in how you re-rate risk assets. Um, given the huge run-up that we've seen since uh, the end of March or the last week of March, do you anticipate a, a correction or an adjustment in the market soon? I anticipate that it's very possible that you would have some up and down volatility. We're not short term market timers, and I really don't recommend anyone else be such either these days. It's not going well for people trying to do that. But, you know, it's very likely you're going to have some up and down volatility. There's a lot of uncertainty in the quarters ahead. But overall, I think the backdrop is obviously very constructive. The worst of the economic damage is behind us. The worst fears about where the health pandemic would go did not play out. And now you have all of this liquidity and stimulus in the economy. So there seems to be more upside surprises than downside ones. I wouldn't say it's risk free, but I would be biased towards a constructive view of risk assets. And David, uh, the Russell 2000, it's up nearly 5% today, but still down 10% from their peaks uh, earlier this year. Uh, that's lower than the other indices. Would you recommend that investors raise their exposure to small cap stocks? Uh, they've been betting on uh, big caps for the most part of that past few years. Small cap is one of the asset classes that we never recommend people go to passively. You want to use an active manager. Um, I, I was thinking about the fact that the Russell is still down 10%, even though small caps had this huge year. And our manager is now positive on the year. And it's not just because we have this great manager. Obviously, we think they're very good. But the point is, small cap is riddled with companies that lose money that are over levered. And we really think you want an active methodology that can kind of be a little bit more selective and discerning. And so you're going to have a bit more dispersion of results in small cap than some of the other areas of the equity market. Are there any particular names that you like in the small cap arena? Well, small cap, we don't run directly because we're dividend growth investors that's more into the mid and large cap. And so in the small cap space, like I mentioned, we use an outside manager. Ron Barron, the Barron Growth Fund, is one of the great small and mid cap managers of all time. They're having a phenomenal year. Um, so there's some great ways to get addressed uh, to small cap. But no, for us, we really focus our in-house on dividend growth large cap. All right. Thanks. We'll be watching. Thanks a lot, David. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.